Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to try to do this haul. Um, sorry, Raven has her toy. Quite, not quickly, but I don't have much time. I only have 25 minutes for recording. So, this is my large <laughs> pharmacist daughter haul. I'm excited. Um, there were lots of scents from this release that interested me. I also stepped out of my comfort zone for a lot of these scents. So this will be interesting. Um, I'm excited to get to melting some of this stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to leave the samples. Um, actually, these three samples I did purchase. So I'm gonna put those to the side and we'll talk about those in a moment. And then the sample I received oops, that I didn't buy is in Fruit Smoothie. Don't have the scent notes, but this smells delicious can't really pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's like a guava, citrus, or something tropical. I feel like it has orange in it, but it does smell really good. So we have fruit smoothie. Okay. <laughs> I got so much. I don't know. I, <laughs> I qualified for free shipping. So there we go. The first one is going to be in custard. And this is a sample that I got. This is French custard, pie crust, French vanilla, sweet and creamy. And I will say the pharmacist's daughter's pricing seem to be really good. I don't think all of her shapes are the same price per ounce, but these eggs seem to be really on the cheap side to me. Um, I can't remember if, was there an invoice in here? No, there's a business card though. Their upcoming restock is scheduled for March 24th, if you guys are interested. So, okay, back to this one. This is like a big egg in the scent custard. And this smells incredible. This smells so strong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this smells delicious. This smells like a really creamy pie. I love this. Yum, this is delicious. I cannot wait to melt it. And I'm excited about that one. I got a souffle in Espresso Bakery. I know a lot of people love um, the pharmacist's daughter espresso scents or coffee scents. Um, so many people. I know that um, Danny loves the coffee. Um, uh, who, who else just said that they really love the coffee? Catherine. Anyways, um, Lori. Anyway, so um, this one is espresso, coconut cream pie, and glazed donuts. Sorry, guys. I was like really drifting off there. Um, my, I know a lot of people like the coffees and beans or beans and cream or something of that nature. That one's not my favorite, but this scent, this is definitely more my style. I like this espresso scent. It's not like murky. I don't know how to describe it. This is just definitely espresso with a coconut cream pie. So I am excited for this scent. So I got that in a souffle. I got cold snap. This is ice vanilla woods, patchouli rain, Lord of Misrule and vanilla birch. I have been on a Lord of Misrule kick. I've been loving the patchouli black pepper like combination. It's been wonderful. So I wanted to try this one, but this is a little bit more out of my comfort zone because rain scents for me, I don't know. They can kind of go either way. So i um, interested to see how this one does for me. It's a beautiful blue color. This is very heavy, like men's cologne to me. Like it's very, I don't know. It's very woody. I don't really get Lord of Misrule. It might be the patchouli rain also adding to that. So if you're not into like heavy cologne scents, this is probably not for you. But if you do like those, I think this one's going to be very strong. So I will start with just a little bit and see where that takes me. I got No Cavities Please, and this is Buttermints and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I feel like I was just recently talking about the mixture of mints with Cupcakes at Tiffany's because I love that combination. Or was it lavender? Either way, brilliant. Yeah, this smells really, really good too. I like that the Buttermint is not lost in here. I, who would have thought that those like two would really complement each other? I don't know, like the chocolate, the buttercream, the mint. I mean, I guess we eat things like that all the time, but 
yeah, this smells really pretty and going to be a great bedtime scent for me because it reads more bedtime than it does um, like bakery. Okay, this one's called Summer Meadow and it's orange blossom, musk, pink sugar, wood sage, and sea salt. I will take this one out so you guys can see the decoration, the embed on the top. I love orange blossom. This is definitely floral. So this is decorated with some succulents on the top. I wonder if this is layered. Let's see. She don't want to come out. Oh, no, she's not. This smells beautiful. Definitely orange blossom. Um, that's mainly what I'm getting. I'm not getting pink sugar. The wood sage and sea salt, maybe a little bit. I can see the musk kind of blending with the orange blossom, though. So it's a very fresh floral, but orange blossom is one of my favorite scents as well as, um, well, I love gardenia and tuberose. Um, I mean, I love a lot of floral scents. I love rose. <laughs> okay. Concession Sand is my next souffle. This is Summer Scoop, Funnel Cake, Caramel Apple, and Cotton Candy. Now, I've had a lot of carnival scents, but I don't think I've had one with Summer Scoop in it or strawberry. I know there's one other vendor that kind of does a play on that. <clears throat> so I was excited. Wow, I got wax all over me. I really like this. I love Summer Scoop. I feel like that's a really nice strawberry scent. This is beautiful. Yeah, I really like this. The caramel apple is not too strong. I feel like sometimes the caramel apple can just really overwhelm a blend. But this smells like it's going to be really good. Like I feel like I can, I can smell like all the scents in here. Mmm, this one really <laughs> smells delicious. This might be one of my favorite like carnival circus fair type of scents that I've smelled so far. So that one is called Concession Stand. I apologize for the lighting going in and out. I turned on all the lights I have in here, plus my ring light. Maybe my ring light makes it worse. I don't know. <laughs> um, next is Lime Buttercream Cake. And of course, I was thinking of um, Catherine King when I was ordering this one because she loves key lime pie. But this is White Cake Buttercream Frosting Key Lime Cotton Candy Frosting. That's what that looks like. This one's beautiful. This has an embed and some glitter on the top. Actually, it looks like it's layered too. It looks like there's pink underneath. Ooh. Okay, well, she's not going to come out, but it's decorated with like this really cute like polka dot Easter egg. This smells really good. Yeah, I like this. It's not too astringent key lime. I think it's kind of mellowed out by that cotton candy and the buttercream. Not necessarily getting white cake, but yeah, it smells really good, like a vanilla key lime. Is that all my souffles? Okay. I'm going to try not to turn my head. Okay. Next, we have a, another Easter egg in Fluffy, and this is Blonde Moment Creme Brulee Vanilla Buttercream and Marshmallow. This one, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is weird to me. It smells minty and fruity, but there's no mint note in here. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm hoping on, on warm that it kind of goes away. I don't know. I don't know what to think of that one. It doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like what I thought it was going to. So I wonder if it's the blonde moment. I, I don't know where that like icy minty scent is coming from. Um, next we have, we'll do these Easter eggs here. This is a three pack of Easter eggs and this is called Thumbprint Cookies. This is blonde moment, frosted raspberries, vanilla cupcake, and buttercream frosting. I like that this is like their own blend and take on a thumbprint cookie. Yeah, this also has this, um, like, minty. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. 
This doesn't smell like a thumbprint cookie to me though. Yeah, I'm just getting this like minty note. And I love mint, but it smells not like what I wanted it to. So I'm definitely going to let them sit for a little while. Let them marinate, do their thing, and I'll come back to these guys um, around Easter time. My last Easter egg is in Cotton Candy Rainbow. And this is Rainbow Sherbet Cotton Candy and Sugar Waffle Cone. This one is kind of like possibly out of my comfort zone because rainbow sherbet can kind of read orange and it definitely does it smells like orange sherbet to me with maybe some like raspberry in there oh i mean i love the taste of orange sherbet so it smells good i'm excited i'm gonna warm it and i i hope i like it i'm really trying you guys because I'm like what is wrong with you angela why do you not why do you not like that it smells so good i don't know maybe it's just I don't know, all in my head. Okay, we got some of the tiles that they do. This one's called Fresh Picked, and it's this beautiful pink spring color, and it's Neroli and Shea, Satsuma, Strawberry, and Pink Sugar. So I have had some Satsuma blends that have worked for me, but they kind of also fall in the same realm as orange and grapefruit and things like that. I like this, though. This smells nice. I like the neroli that's in here. Did I say strawberry? This also has strawberry. But I'm definitely getting a heavy citrus note. I'm hoping that all those just like help blend it together to where it's just something that I really fall in love with. Next I got Paris Nights and this just sounded so beautiful. This is um, Amber Noir White Birch and Shiplap. I wonder if other vendors use shiplap. I don't see that, at least that name often. This is so pretty. This is definitely like on the cologne side. It's less cologne than the other one that I was talking about. But this is pretty and it's softer and cozier and like a little bit more powdery. Yeah, this is like more cozy, like wrapped up in a blanket next to a fire. Mmm, it does smell good, but it smells like you're like resting upon somebody who's wearing just like the most beautiful cologne. I like that one. Um, we have white waterfalls in some beautiful teal blue kind of tiles, and it's citrus, sea salt, pink sugar, green apple, and lavender. I have seen mac apple blended with lavender. But I have not seen, I don't think, green apple and lavender plus the pink sugar, sea salt, and citrus. So I feel like they come up with some interesting blends, which is nice to have. This is freaking beautiful. This is so good. Um, sorry if I haven't been looking at the camera. I feel like I'm just looking at my wax. This is so good. Um, I actually get like a very sweet note. And it may be coming from the pink sugar, I guess, but the green apple is also quite sweet. This is so good. It almost smells like there's cotton candy in here. I love this one. This one's heaven. White waterfalls. I'm so glad I picked that one up. Definitely a standout from this batch. Next is Magnolias, and this is Key Lime Pie, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Blonde Moment. It seems like they definitely blended a lot with that Blonde Moment oil. And this is like in a bunt, or in a well, or I'm not sure exactly what they call it. The light wouldn't be so bright. This I'm not really getting that like minty note that I was getting from the other ones with the Blonde Moment, so I don't really know what's going on. But I think the key lime pie really works well in this blend. This smells really nice. I like this key lime pie. Mm, it's very creamy. And I feel like I get a little bit of pie crust in the background too. So I think this one was done really well. That's really yummy. Sorry, there's like wax. And oh, you know what it was? This, here I'll show you. This box was packed with like the um, packing peanuts. And it ha they all like were kind of like degrading in the box. Um, so it's kind of like all over the wax in the bags and stuff, which is totally fine. I like to be like, like, you know, friendly to the, my earth. 
my earth, our earth. Um, but yeah, I kind of made a mess all over the bags. Um, this next one is summer punch and this is lemon lime soda, pineapple, orange sherbet, vanilla ice cream, and saltwater taffy. And I feel like saltwater taffy can kind of read cherry depending on the vendor that you get it from. I don't know exactly what the set notes are for saltwater taffy. Um, this one, the well is like actually not filled in this one. Yeah, this one smells good. It smells like a fruity, like, just like a fruity drink in summer. It's not my favorite. I do like it. I'm not sure if it's the pineapple or the orange in here throwing me off. I, maybe it's the pineapple. I do like pineapple, but you never know. Okay. Okay, to get that bag. Ooh. Okay, next we have one more of this like bunt shape and it's Cafe Crema. And this is also a um, sample that I got. And this is espresso, zucchini bread, marshmallow fireside, and marshmallow fluff. You guys, this scent is incredible. I smelled the sample first and didn't remember that I actually bought it. And I am so happy that I bought it. It smells incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I don't know if I actually showed you the label. But... Yeah, this is so good. I don't know if I've had their zucchini bread before, but mixed with that espresso, man, they just like make something like a beautiful baby, a beautiful scent baby, because that is delicious. I get a little bit of the marshmallow fireside, just a slight little hint of like smokiness in the background, but absolutely incredible. Love this one. Okay. <clears throat> I did some snap bars in Quiet Place, and this is pink sugar, peppermint, and driftwood. I'm really digging like this driftwood and shiplap and like salty sea salt, ocean breeze. I don't know. <laughs> this is so pretty. I love this one. I would buy backups of this. It's very like beautiful peppermint. It's peppermint done right. The pink sugar is not too strong, which I love because sometimes pink sugar after a little while when it's in my warmers can kind of read burnt and I love pink sugar, but I don't want it to change my scent into something that's like weird. So this smells really beautiful and I think the driftwood just adds this like, I don't know, like airy, ozonic, like, I don't know, like a bleached wood, I guess, kind of scent. So I love that. I got Old Say and Goes, and it's peppermint, Himalayan sea salt, seagrass, and sage. Also in these little break apart bars. Sorry, my boyfriend just closed the garage door. This is very strong. Whew. And it must be the seagrass and sage. Like, this is green herbal strong. The peppermint is clear. Your sinus is peppermint as well. So this is, like, I don't know, also, like, a very spa, like, zen, like, I don't know, opens your third eye kind of scent. <laughs> that smells really wonderful. Definitely smells strong, though. I got one of their, is this their wave bar? And this is Nice Guy, Blackberry Jam, Blue Cotton Candy, Barbershop, and Route 66. Now, I don't usually typically like Blackberry Jam or Blackberry Jam butter cookies, but I thought I would give this one a shot because this blend sounded so interesting. Like, all those things together. Never seen it done before. <laughs> Maybe it has been, but I haven't seen it. This is so interesting. So, this is the Wave Bar. Yeah, you get this like sweet, kind of like fruity shaving cream scent. Um, I don't know. I can't remember what Route 66 is. I don't know if that's a fruity scent, but this kind of leans more on that like masculine cologne side. This is pretty. I'm interested to melt it. It's definitely intriguing. So that's called Nice Guy. I got four little heart shapes in lavender cookies, and this is lavender, cotton candy, sugar cookie royale, vanilla cupcake, and butter mints. Okay. 
yeah, this smells, sorry, this got, oh, got all these little things flying in the air at me. This smells really good. <laughs> sorry. Um, this smells beautiful. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, they did it right. Sometimes when lavender and mint come together, it's not my favorite. I like them separately a lot, but this is, this is really nice. I enjoy this. Okay, and then I got three of their like mini loaves. This first one is in Coke Float, and this is Coke Vanilla Ice Cream and Sugar Waffle Cone. And they're all like multiple tones, I think three tones. Um, I wanted to try this to see, I don't know, just how their Coke scent was. This is definitely different. I'm not sure if I like, it's very, different. <laughs> um, I feel like this definitely smells like a flat Coke, maybe with some ice cream. I don't know the exact, exact flavor profile of the Coke, but I feel like this is pretty spot on. Um, we'll see on warm how I, how I like this one. Okay. Next I have munchies, which is the other um, last sample that I got. And this is fruity pebbles, cotton candy, and fizzy pop. And it has yellow, blue, and purple layers. It's so pretty. Actually, I'll pull this one out so you guys can see. This smells incredible. This is so good. This is definitely like lemon forward. That fizzy pop and the fruity pebbles adding in just a little bit more of that like sugared, fruity kind of sweetness. This is so good. Lori, you would probably really like this one. That one's called Munchies. And then the last one from this gigantic haul is going to be one called Spritzer Slushy. Also out of my comfort zone. It is fresh oranges, lemon, Prosecco, pink sugar, and vanilla ice cream. I'm hoping that that Prosecco is quite strong. I love this kind of like boozy fizzy notes. This is good. It is good. It's definitely... Definitely smells like oranges. I get quite a bit of like lemon. Um, it smells a little bit more on the cleaner lemon side. But I think that um, the vanilla ice cream kind of helps mellow it out too. So yeah, that one's pretty good. I am excited to try some new scents for me. Yeah, so that is my entire pharmacist daughter daughter's haul. Um, I'm excited to try these. And let you guys know what I think. Um, if you guys ordered from this um, restock, let me know. Or if you're going to be doing the future restock, I think she said the 24th. Um, I don't know if they released a list or anything yet. But yeah. So, all right, guys. That is all for me tonight. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you again soon. All right.